Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am Ashley. I'm a homeschooling mom with seven kiddos. I wanted to do another flip through for you um, on uh, a curriculum piece for my incoming sixth grader. This will be the BJU Press Math 6 that is new to us. Um, we have used the Good and the Beautiful previously um, for her. And I knew that um, it was one of those things like with the language arts, I just knew, knew this year <laughs> I needed it to be different. Um, that's just, that's just how it is. And as a parent, and if you are new to homeschooling, you will quickly realize that. You will quickly um, see and be able to recognize when you will need to change something up. And um, so I was in need of a curriculum for math for my incoming middle schooler that uh, was not super lengthy, that did not have 10,000 practice problems, that did not just have all these different um, games that went along with it to where you would just continuously doing the practice without needing to do the practice. She is my kid that um, wants to finish everything and, you know, doesn't want to skip things. And so even though I would tell her, do not, do not worry about it. Um, it was almost like it was an incomplete feeling if she didn't finish it. And so that was frustrating. So I wanted to find a math curriculum that was much simpler, that just got straight to the point simpler lessons, um, but still kind of had some color to it and some fun. Um, my oldest did math, you see, I really didn't want to do that with her. I knew she would find that boring. So I did not even go there. Um, there are a couple other math curriculums that I just know would be too boring for her and not exciting. And so we just didn't even go there. So <clears throat> I wanted to show you the BJU Press Math 6. Um, again, kind of like language arts for her. The first thing that I looked for was simple lessons and just straight to the point and not a lot of just extra junk. So that is what I found in here, I think. And sh there are things in here that she, I know that she knows already, just like her language arts that we're flipping through, we're flipping through, that we are changing up, that I did a flip through on. I will link that um, just like the language arts, there is stuff that I know as in any other curriculum, when you change curriculum pieces, there is probably stuff they will already know. And that is totally okay. Just keep going, um, have them do it, keep going. It'll be fine. It's better for them to that than to struggle. So, um, this curriculum has all the table of contents starting here and it has cumulative reviews after each section. So for example, you have number systems as the first section, so decimal place, adding, subtracting decimals, positive and negative numbers, etc. And then you have your chapter review and you have your cumulative review. You have multiplying by whole numbers, which she knows how to multiply. Again, some of this just might be kind of easy for her. I always have felt like the good and the beautiful with both language arts and math has been has been higher than a lot of the other curriculums like kind of a level up um, but she's always pretty much stayed straight with her grade level um, dividing by whole numbers and then you have chapter review and cumulative review goes all the way through fractions plain figure geometry um, dividing fractions dividing decimals equations um, probability perimeter and area integers and then we finish at page 386 with 17 total lessons. Um, so you will have kind of a little, I guess a little, a, a short lesson, which you as the teacher can um, go over easily. Sixth grade, I don't anticipate needing a teacher guide um, but sometimes, like I've always said, I look at that and I'm like, did I do that right? <laughs> I don't remember if this is right. So I just kind of play it by ear and see, um, 
so far it's just been high, the middle school, upper middle school that I've needed help with. Um, just to double check, but also it's quicker because then you don't have to sit there and try and figure something out. You can just look at the answers and be done with it. But let me just show you how easy these lessons are. So your first lesson and um, work is these two pages or these two pages, your whole number place value. And then you go into adding whole numbers and it's just this. So you have your like your lesson with your key terms and it kind of gives a short little summary. It has your exercises and then your practice and application and that's it. Um, subtracting whole numbers, same thing. It has this, it has the exercises and let me see, does it go to the next page? And then your practice and application is right after that. And so that is pretty much how the lessons are laid out. It will have some random little blurbs in here, like here's a mathematician that they talk about. Um, and, but pretty much if they read it, this is just, this is your lesson. There is no video, anything like that. This is, this is your lesson. You can read it with them. They can read it alone. However, they learn best go with that. Um, I, let's see, solving problems. Let me see if I can find the, um, I want to find like the, oh, here we go. So the chapter review. So it goes about 20 pages, 21 pages, and then you have the chapter review. So chapter review is this page and this page. And then you have a cumulative review. So if you had more than one lesson that you were doing, it would, I'm assuming, incorporate um, both of those chapters in there. So that's three pages. And then you go on to two, which is multiplying by a whole number. Now, <clears throat> she knows how to do that. Um, she will probably know how to do quite a bit of this. Again, I'm okay with that. I want her to become familiar with this curriculum if this is the one that she wants to um, keep going with. Now, in high school, different story. <laughs> in high school, um, we are um, using going to be using a different math regardless. Um, like we'll be using Shorman math for my oldest in ninth grade. Um, but <clears throat> I go year by year. I go year by year and I see what's working and what is not because that is the only way that I can do it. Homeschooling multiple children in multiple age, age ranges, multiple grades with different learning personalities and different ways of doing things. Um, that's just how I have to do it. There's just, there's no other way around it. So um, your, let's see your chapter reviews, your at the end, um, there are some extra daily reviews for each chapter if you feel like they need it. So the option to have that extra um, practice is there. That is what I like. If I need it, it's there, but I don't want it incorporated, it incorporated into all of the chapters, all of the lessons, every single day because it's just too much. And so again, she felt like she had to do all of it. And I'm like, no, no, you don't have to do all of it. You understand it, move on. Um, but the way that they incorporate it in there, it's like part of the full lesson. So your lessons would be like so many pages. And I just, that's what I just needed, sim simplicity. I'm all about simplicity um, for curriculum at this point. Um, yes, yeah, so there is not, an answer key or an answer guide um, on here. I think you can get it online if I'm not mistaken. I will look and see, but I just wanted to do that quick flip through because I wanted to show you how short and sweet and simple these lessons are in relation to what we've used, the good and the beautiful, which again is fine um, for people that like a lot of extra stuff. Um, again, it's just not in the cards for us. It's just none of my kids really, they want to be done with it and, and keep going, um, and move on. So I just wanted to do that quick flip through. If you have any questions, any other questions about this, 
um, let me know. I will give you an update. That's the good thing about all these curriculum pieces that I'm trying. I can give you updates very quickly whether or not it is working. Um, once the school year starts, I usually do an update on all the grade levels and typically I'm pretty quick about knowing and realizing what's going to work and what's not. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions about this or any of the other math curriculums um, that I've used before. If you see a video on my channel that you want to know, did this work um, for this kid or did you keep using it or did you change? Um, let me know down below and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.